Did you know that there's a free AI tool that will turn your PowerPoints from looking ugly to beautiful in just a few seconds? Or maybe you didn't realize that there was a free AI tool that allows you to automate really complex tasks in seconds. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna know about seven free to try AI tools that you need to make sure that you're using right now to increase your productivity and automate your work. Now, that first free AI tool that I wanted to show you is actually a brand new upgrade to Google Slides because this is absolutely insane. So now when you come into Google Slides, you're going to see beautify this slide right here and the results of this are crazy so all you have to do is come over here click on beautify this slide on whatever slide you want to go through and beautify and you'll see what this actually does here so we're going to use it on this slide right here and we can see that nano banana is then going through and generating something and we could have it generate slides images infographics and you can even explain to it how you want it to actually go through and beautify something but check this out it's going to take this text-based slide right here and then it creates this right here which is a brand new slide that is absolutely incredible this would have taken me hours if not days to make just this one slide but now it does it for free and if you wanted to make any changes to it you literally just click on edit image right here you could resize it you could change whatever you want about it and i cannot believe that it even has such intricate things like the youtube logo or even all these different logos and like graphics that it put for each of these terms that's hyper specific and even how it highlighted things in yellow because the original had some things highlighted in yellow i cannot believe how good this is and you could go through and do this now in all of your slides now, free AI tool number two is going to be Deep Agent by Abacus AI because for the first time ever, they're rolling out a free tier to Deep Agent. And if you haven't heard of Deep Agent before, it is absolutely incredible. You can do all these different things, like use it to create chatbots. You could use it to create AI workflows. You could use it to go through and create videos, have it be AI lip sync videos. You could have it create shorts, or you could have it create PowerPoints. You can have it create apps. The opportunities here are absolutely endless. And this is the most powerful AI tool that I've ever used because of how adaptive it is. Like I said, now there's a free version of it. For example, I want you to check this out right here. So you could say to this, read the last 10 tweets from this X account right here. And then I want you to post similar tweets promoting Deep Agent with its capabilities in an organic manner. You should also include a hot take in the tweet in order to grab attention. And you should post two tweets every day at an interval of two hours in the day. And then what this does is goes through, it asks you a few questions that you have to answer. For example, are there specific capabilities that you want to promote? Or would you prefer the tone to be different or what the hot take should be? And then should the tweets contain specific hashtags or something like that? You just answer these questions. And this actually goes through and builds out this automation after you sign into your X account and give it authorization. And we could see that this now gives you a report right here of exactly what it's done once it's done. And we could see what this actually looks like. So look at this. This literally went through and tweeted out on our behalf and we could have this do this all the time basically what you could do is just hook this up to a bunch of your competitors or different topics that you want to talk about and this is going to use ai to stay up to date on what the conversation is on x and then generate tweets for you that will go out at any cadence that you want. And that's not even the craziest thing because you could also get it to pretty much automate anything that a human could do. For example, if we look at this right here, we're creating an automation right here in order to test all the features on our website. So this is something that I personally have to do for all the different software tools that I own. Every single morning, I have somebody go through and I have somebody actually test things, but now I don't have to because Deep Agent can do this for us. Because we could see that this is now literally going through with computer action. It pulled up our website here and it's going through it's clicking on all the different buttons it's optimizing all of these things and it's figuring out whether or not all of these different things work and then we could see right here that what this is going to do is be a regularly recurring task and it's going to send us an email making sure that all of the different functionality on our website actually works it goes through all the different test details all the different things that it actually did and we can see the results that everything on our website is functioning right now and now guess what a human doesn't have to go through and do that and we don't have to go through and do that. Now, if you want to try out Deep Agent today for yourself, just go to the pinned comment below and get started with it today for free. This is the first time ever that Deep Agent has allowed a free tier, and I would strongly suggest that you check on this because personally, this is my favorite AI tool and the one that I use the most because it allows you to accomplish so much. Now, the next free upgrade that I want to show you is going to be on Notebook OM. This is a brand new feature over here. So when you come into Notebook OM, what you're now going to see is data table right here. This allows you to generate a data table from 
from your sources. Now, I would strongly suggest that if you're going to use this tool, you don't have a ton of sources enabled, and ideally, you should only have one source enabled. So basically, this allows you to turn a website, a PDF, a YouTube video, any data source that you can upload into Notebook LM into a data table. And you right now are probably thinking, Rob, why on earth would I do this? But I want you to check this out. So we have this YouTube video right here. And if I come over here, we could see what this YouTube video is about. So this video right here is about how to make money on cars. Basically, this guy talks about how to buy exotic cars, not lose any money on them. So I turn this into a data table this YouTube video right here, which you're probably thinking, Rob, why on earth would you ever do that? Now, if we click over here, we can expand this and see what this looks like. And look at this. This literally went through the entire video and made a data table here. So we have the vehicle models, the mileage modifications, we have performance details, we have the owner intent, and we have the build style or philosophy here. And we could see this did this for this entire video. And it also gives us exactly where the source actually came from. So we could figure out where this information is coming from. And then if we wanted to, we could export this into Google Sheets, we can modify this. And if you come over here, when you actually go to create this, you could have it do things however you want. For example, you could describe what the tables and columns are going to be, you could describe the length, you could describe what kind of information you want in these data tables. And this runs off and turns anything into this. Now, this next AI tool that I want to show you is going to be app.prompts.ai. Now, they have this brand new tool right here, which is incredible. So if you load this up right here, and by the way, I'll put the link to this in the description, and you click on this right here, compare models. What this allows you to do is this allows you to come over here and compare a bunch of different models. For example, we could choose between ChatGPT, we could choose between Claude, we could choose between DeepSeek, Grok, pretty much everything's in here. So we're going to give the same task to ChatGPT5. We're going to come over here and we're going to give the same task to ChatGPT51. And then we're going to come over here and we're actually going to eliminate this one. So I don't want this in here. So I'm going to click on remove. And basically what we're now able to do is give the same prompt to two different models or three different models if you wanted to and see how they actually differ in their responses. And this is incredibly helpful if you're trying to figure out what model is best for like stylistic things. For example, we could come over here and say, give me 10 title ideas for YouTube's algorithm change for 2026. And now we could click on this. And what this is going to do is give it to both of these. And we could see the speed in which one operates versus the other. ChatGPT 5.1 is way faster than ChatGPT 5 here. And we could see exactly how it answered us here. And then guess what? We see that this is incredibly slow. So what this tells me right here, ChatGPT 5.1 is actually better for this type of ask. And as we could see here, this gave us not only better titles, but did it in a way faster time and we can also come over here and now compare Claude or we could come over here and we can actually configure the settings here like add in different instructions or change the stream or change the max tokens and what this allows you to do is really easily very quickly figure out which models you should be using in a world where models are constantly changing the next free AI tool that I want to show you is going to be Whisper right here. If you are not using this tool, this tool is incredibly powerful. If you already are using this, put in the comment section below how helpful this has been for you. Because if we come over here and come into pricing, we could see that they have here. Basically, what this allows you to do is talk to your computer instead of having to type to it. Basically, uses AI for voice to text that turns speech into clearly polished writing in every single app. And this isn't bad, like the one that you have on your phone or something like that. This is absolutely incredible. And the reason that you want to go through and speak instead of typing is that it is way faster. In fact, it's four times faster than typing. And I would strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that you do this. We can see right here on a keyboard, you might be at 45 words per minute, but if you use flow, it's 220 words per minute. And this is going to speed up your work. And another thing that I've found, it actually takes like way less brain power for you to be able to talk something instead of you having to go through and type something. Because if you're typing something, you have to think about it. You have to think about your fingers. You have to think about controlling, but we're just way more adapted for talking. And I would strongly, strongly suggest that you check this out right here, because this has been one of the biggest game changers for me in increasing my productivity. If we come over here, you could see all the different ways that you could use this, depending on whether you're a creator, customer support support, sales, student, a team, a lawyer, developer, doesn't matter what it is, this is going to be incredibly useful for you. Now, the next tool that I want to show you is going to be photoeditorai.io because this is an AI image editor that is free. 
For example, we could come over here and we could upload a headshot image right here. So we're going to come over here, we're going to type in headshot, and then we're going to pull this up right here. And then we can actually add a prompt here. So make my sweatshirt really bright yellow. And then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to choose the model that you want to use. So they have image editor AI 2.0. They have C dream. They have nano banana. I'm going to try doing this with nano banana. I have not tried this before. This is live. Then we could choose the aspect ratio right here. We click on generate images. Every other time that I've done this, I've just used image editor AI 2.0. But what we could see here is this is now going through and this is going to generate this image. And this is free because I have so many people complain to me. And look at this. This is amazing. So many people complain to me that like things like Photoshop or Nano Banana or even ChatGPT's image model that they throttle you. They don't allow you to do what you actually want. And you could do something a few times, but then you run out of credits or you run out of uses and then you get stuck. This tool right here solves that because again, you could have this do so many different things. We just had to do something really simple right here, but you could actually upload multiple images here. We could see a bunch of different examples here that are pretty cool, like changing the background or making some somebody's hair red and we could see it doesn't change anything else about the photo unless we wanted it to it just changes that one hyper specific thing and again this website's free you don't even have to create an account in order to use it in fact i have no idea how they're giving this away for free because i know it costs some money to use these models right here now that last free tool that I want to show you is going to be triple10.com slash tools slash prompt optimizer. What this is, is a prompt optimizer where you could turn your simple prompts into effective AI instructions for any LLM. And this tool right here is free. Again, you don't even have to sign up for an account in order to do it. And you could see based on use cases here that we have automatic, we have coding, we have reasoning, we have created, we have structured output. And if you have an expected output right here, you could describe exactly what you want the AI to produce. For example, if it's a list, a comparison, a detailed explanation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on creative and I'm going to say, I want to generate image of a six pack transformation for a man. And then we could come over here and we could guide this with things like tone, goal, audience, style constraints, etc. I don't have any of that, but if we did want to, we could add this in here. And then we click on generate right here. And what this is actually going to do is go through and optimize this prompt right here, where we could get it as text, we could get it as JSON, we could copy this, and we could see that this gave us a way better prompt right here. And what this is going to do is allow you to use LLMs more effectively, whether you're creating videos, you're creating images, you're just prompting it in order to do something with data or to try to get some type of result. I would strongly suggest that you begin to use this if you're using AI and you're not getting the results that you want, because if you're not, I guarantee you it's just that you're messing up your prompts. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through five free brand new Gemini upgrades that you probably haven't heard of or seen before. If that sounds interesting. I'll see you over there.